Thanks for encouraging us to come to Gay Pride Day, Brian. Yeah, this seems like it'll be fun. Real fun, not entertain your wife's parents while your wife is at work fun. Wow, a parade. It's like I'm walking past that, but I'm not going anywhere. Look, there's the float commemorating sham marriages. Sorry, this stomach thing is acting up again tonight. Oh, and I'm going on a business trip to Mykonos for July. Hey, check it out. There's an air show. Oh, my God, they're going to crash. Well, listen up, everybody, because it's time for our grand prize drawing for those tickets to see Celine Dion live in Las Vegas. Infertility. Here we go. Our grand prize winner is Brian Griffin. Yeah. Yeah. Really nice. Well, I don't believe it. Hey, congratulations, buddy. You know, you're a lucky guy. The only thing I ever won was an extra day of summer. We now return to Franklin and Bash with indicators to show which one is Franklin and which one is Bash. Hey, Stewie, I don't know if you have any interest in this, but I was wondering if you want to go to Vegas with me and see Celine Dion. Are you kidding? Of course I want to go. Wow, these are good seats. I know. Apparently they were donated by Goldman's Pharmacy. Turns out Mort's cousin is Celine's opening act. Really? What's his talent? I understand he's a magician of sorts. You almost ready, Stewie? We should probably start heading to the airport. Yes, I was going to talk to you about that, actually. Last night I was thinking to myself, why fly when we can get there instantly? What? What do you mean? Well, you see, I recently completed construction on a teleportation device, and it occurred to me this may be the perfect chance to try it out. Oh, Stewie, that's incredible. So, what do you say? Hmm. Teleport to Vegas, huh? All right, let's do it. Okay, now the device is powered by kinetic energy, so you've got to dance to make it work. You, uh, w- really? Yeah, you've got to dance. What what are you doing, you tool? Do you know anything about science? You just saw me program it. Oh, my God, Stewie, it it worked. We're in Vegas. Yeah, all right. Well, let's hit the hospital, get checked for teleportation cancer, and then party. Well, since the teleportation machine failed to get us to Vegas, I suppose we should just catch our plane. I'll repair it when we get back. You know, this is going to be a good trip, Brian. I really feel like fate is on our side. Oh, wow, look at that, Stewie. Perfect timing. Oh, it's beautiful. Everything's just so beautiful here. Ugh, this is miserable. Three-hour delay and a completely full flight. Don't look at us, you pig. Take your juicy sweatpants and your dirty pillow from home and your bucket of coke and get the hell out of my sight. Stewie, that teleportation machine is amazing. It's so great that we're already here. Yep, drink it in, Bry. Time to enjoy all the Bellagio has to offer. Classic architecture, beautiful art. Plus, the air is clean because they suck up all the cigarette smoke and dump it in the bad hotels. Hi, we're checking in. Griffin? Ah, yes. I see you've requested a bed that's good for bouncing and jumping. That is correct. I am a businessman. Just sign here, please. Hey, we should try one of those slot machines by the entrance. You know, they always set those things to pay out more so they can lure people into the casino. Oh, that's a great idea. Oh, my God, I don't believe it. Brian, we won. We won the jackpot. Oh, this is unbelievable. I haven't had this much fun since I hosted the Oscars. Oh, thank God we're finally here. That plane ride took forever. Kind of weird they showed Flight 93 on Flight 93. Hi, we're checking in, Griffin. Hmm, I do have a Griffin here, but that room was checked into hours ago. What? Yes, and I'm afraid we have no other rooms available. Can I at least have that pen? No, that's Bellagio property. Oh. Well, this sucks. Hey, I'm going to go try one of those slot machines by the entrance. They always set those things to pay out more so they can lure people into the casino. Damn it, Vegas! Excuse me, where can I find some smoking Asians? Oh, everywhere? Okay. Giddy tonight, been a lady to be giddy lady tonight. You can be. Oh, the continent is Africa. Stewie, this place is a complete pit. I mean, doesn't it seem weird to you that we have to recheck in every 20 minutes? Also, the porn is free, but we have to watch it in the lobby. Okay, let's see if we can turn this trip around. I'm going to try some blackjack. Here, take $40. I'm going to go get some ice cream. All right, I'll catch up with you. 24. Crap. 
Do you know what it's like to go to the doctor and see your own foot in the garbage can? Okay, you have a good night. Hey, Stewie, I need some more money. I lost it all, Briar. Stewie, that was all the money I brought. I knew I should have brought Peter instead of you. Oh, come on, you would have done much worse with him. He's got a terrible tell. Any cards, Peter? No, I'm good. Oh, thank God we made it in time. I didn't realize how far that awful hotel is from the strip. The woman who cleaned our room had no ears. I'm sorry, these tickets are invalid. What? It's showing that they've already been scanned. I can't let you in. God, this trip has been a disaster. I know. I actually thought I was going to win big and get that plastic surgery I always wanted. You know what? Screw it. I, I say we just cut our losses and fly home. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that. What? Why? Well, I may have... And, and you are going to laugh about this if I know your dark sense of humor. But I may have gambled away our plane tickets. You what? How do you even do that? It's Vegas, Brian. You can gamble anything. Look, why don't we just call Lois and the fat man? Maybe they can help us. I don't know about that. You know that 500 bucks we lost? I sort of took that from Lois. Without asking. She finds out it's all gone, she'll kill me. Oh. Did you fellas say you were in a bit of a fix? My buddy's got the inside track on a basketball game. It's a sure thing. What do you want from us? Honestly, I'm trying to sell my condo, and I need people to come to the open house and talk about how nice it is. It's like I say, the best thing you can see in Vegas is bar, bar, bar. Yeah, and he's not talking about slot machines. Ooh! Stewie, I'm still not sure this is a great idea. Relax, Brian. We're betting on one basketball game. That's it. And then we'll be out of debt and on our way home. I suppose. I just wish we didn't have to borrow money from a loan shark. I mean, that guy seemed pretty serious. And that'll do it for us here with Duke losing by just three points. We... we lost, Brian. Hey, Stewie, give me $100 from the backpack. I want to pay a Wayne Newton lookalike to beat up a Rita Rudner lookalike. I'll give you $1,000. Pay him to beat up Rita Rudner. I say, Brian, this backpack feels a bit lighter than it did before. Well, I wasn't going to tell you till later, but I actually used part of my portion to take care of some personal business. Hey, boss, it's me. I just spotted those two idiots who borrowed all that money. Yeah, well, now they're strutting around in flashy suits. Don't worry. I'll get that money back no matter what. And for sure, I'm not going to stop first and get some crepes in the lobby. Where can I get some crepes? Okay, come on, you look nothing like your picture in the ad. Shut up and give me the money! What? What the hell are you talking about? Okay, I'm starting to think you're not Apollo. You bastards think you could just borrow a bunch of money from a loan shark and then waste it on tacky suits? Sounds like somebody wants to die. Yeah, no, no, S Stewie, just give him the money from the back. It's empty. It's just Cheerios and coloring books. What? Where the hell's the money? Sir, we can't give you any money, but if you've got some milk and a bowl, we can give you a pretty healthy way to start your day. All right, enough of this! You, dog, pick which one of you two is gonna die! What? You can't ask me to decide something like that. Fine, I'll kill you! No, no, kill him! He's a baby! He, he won't even remember he was alive! You son of a bitch! Ah, Stewie! Now get us the money you borrowed! Oh my god, Stewie, no! <laughs> What the hell are we going to do, Stewie? We have no money, no way to get home. And one of the loan shark's goons is probably going to bust through that door any minute and kill us both. I wish my daddy were here. He always knows what to do. God, I've never felt so hopeless. I mean, what are we supposed to do? Just wait for them to come kill us? Well, we could go on the run. With what money? And, and they'd still find us. Then why don't we just hitchhike home? Even if we could get back there, we'd just be putting the whole family in danger. I don't see any way out of this. Well, there is one thing we could do. What? What's that? We could go out on our own terms. What, you're saying we should kill ourselves? Brian, we're dead no matter what. At least this way, it'll be quick and clean. Well, not clean for the staff of the hotel, but that's not really going to be our problem anymore. I, I don't know. Well, look, it's not like we've got a lot to live for. I mean, I'm just going to end up like Chris, only I'll be smart enough to realize how miserable I am. And you've only got a few good years left anyway. And that's if we even get out of here alive. You know, the only thing that was holding me back even a little is knowing how much Lois is going to milk this. 
everyone. I truly want to thank you for your support and remind you that as, as far as casseroles go, we're good on pasta, but we could use some more dessert items. <laughs> Well, this is it. I guess so. Count of three. Yep. One, One two, two, three! I'm sorry, I can't! I want to live! I didn't really think we were going to do it! You dick! Oh my god! Brian! Brian, no! One way to Providence, please. Yeah, how much to get to Providence? Brian? Stewie? What the hell? But how can you be... Oh, my God. Could, could it be? What the hell is going on? My teleportation machine worked. Of course it did. That's how we got here. No, that's how you got here. I flew. W where is the Stewie you came with? Oh, well, these, these thugs came to shoot you, and I tried to throw myself in front of the bullet, but it must have gone, like, under my armpit or something because it, it exploded your face. Wait, what about the other me? Oh, it was so sad. You took your own life. I, I tried like hell to talk you out of it, but you jumped off a balcony. Well, we should probably head home. Definitely. Um, uh, the only thing is I'm a little short. Is there any chance you could cover me for the ticket? Oh, let me see how much I have. Good news, I have just enough. Now departing for Providence. Hey, did you guys see O? No, that seemed like... <laughs>